All right, what up, ladies and gents? It's your favorite macho man right here. All right, and um, basically today what I'm going to do is uh, somebody actually asked me on stream. I think it was IO Sharon. Uh, they actually asked me about how wound damage works in Dauntless. So I'm actually going to show you guys. Wound damage is something that is done separate to part and core damage. All right, so if I stab this behemoth, right, please note, I have no wound damage enhancement things in this build all right so we're gonna i'm just gonna show it to you there's no acidic no barbed in this entire build okay there's no wound damage enhancement right and um what you're gonna see now is that when i stab this thing my core damage that is the damage that actually hits the behemoth is 401 410 all right now it's 220 because that was a crit right 222 part damage is 222 wound damage is 244 so the wound damage is entirely separate to behemoth hit points it doesn't damage the behemoth hit points at all all right neither does part damage fyi but part damage is often tagged to core damage um again if you check out my video on how damage works in dauntless you you'll see this it's kind of the same with stagger i'll just show you okay wait let me let me just let that reset and once it resets okay there we go you see that here I did 1,063 part damage and core damage, but only 475 stagger damage. So stagger and wound are completely separate from core damage, all right? Same as part damage. It's all separated, all right? But part damage is often tagged to core damage, all right? And again, watch my video on how damage works in Dauntless if you want to be sure about this. Now, what does wound damage actually do? Okay, we have to actually go into combat for this to, to happen. We're going to go into an easy area because I'm just doing this as a demonstration. I'm not actually getting into combat, all right? But effectively speaking, when you're in combat, right, each behemoth has a certain amount of wound hit points, right? Once you cross the wound hit point threshold, you will wound the behemoth, um, sorry, each behemoth part has a certain wound hit point threshold. Once you once you cross that threshold, you will wound the behemoth. This, this is uh, something that'll happen when you see the blue smoke coming out of the behemoth part. That means it's wounded. Once that part is wounded, <coughs> the person who wounds it gains a buff called Aether Rush. Aether Rush grants you 15% attack and movement speed, as well as faster stamina recovery. All right. Oh, sorry. sorry. Increase. It, it gives you 15% attack damage, movement speed, and attack speed. And... Um, it will also help you recover your stamina faster, all right? So let's see this in action right now, okay? We've got the Shadow Touch Nezaga here, all right? So it's gonna come toward me, all right? I'm gonna knock it down, and I'm gonna start stabbing the head. So as I keep stabbing the head, okay, take a hit there. Okay, now the part is wounded. I've gained a buff. Do you see the do you see the little man with the uh, fire around him? That's the buff. That's the buff called Aether Rush, all right? Oh shit. It appeared behind me and went through me. Little nerd. Basically, while Aether Rush is active, I will be able to uh, attack and move faster. But it only lasts for 20 seconds. So if in this particular situation, the behemoth moves or something, the buff will disappear. All right? But you can wound another part and get the buff back. All right? So it's so like so. And you'll just see me attacking faster like that. Okay? It's that easy to operate. And there's nothing special that you have to do. Like other, other than just wounding to get the buff, that's it. Now, I'm going to teach you a little something about... I know I can't demonstrate it uh, because obviously I don't have anyone to, I can just call up to film a video with. Um, basically, in a team, right, if somebody else wounds a part, you're not going to get the Aether Rush buff. But if you deal 1,500... I think the threshold is 1,500 or 2,000. I can't remember because I, I've, I've genuinely forgotten and we deal so much damage that it really doesn't matter with Asian robot builds. But basically, you deal about 1,500 damage to a part, right, that is already wounded. And you will also get uh, the Aether Rush buff. All right, so that's how wounding works, and that's how you can spread like the Aether Rush amongst your team. So in in a team based combat, a Warpike user with a strong wounding build. All right, this is not this is not a strong wounding build. This is this is just a build I threw together to for demonstration purposes. 
Um, a strong wounding build is good because then everybody can attack the wounded part, gain the benefit of Aether Rush, which helps you basically finish a fight roughly 25% faster. Because don't forget, increase attack speed and increase damage. Okay, it's both 15%. So overall, the t it, you can't just add them together, but roughly you'll finish a fight 25% faster. All right, so it's always worth it to target a wounded part if you see one being wounded by a Warpike user, and that is basically the full explanation about how wound damage works, how you get uh, buffed by wound damage, and basically how it operates in this game, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching that. Uh, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? Um, if you want to support my channel even further, you can drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. You can send super thanks on YouTube. You can join as a channel member, gaining access to various perks. You can even uh, drop by the streams and send super chats, right? So thank you very much for doing that, all right? The Asian robot appreciates you. Um, please feel free to uh, do whatever you like now. And of course, here's a thank you to July's top supporters, Bravo7910, Kazmantum, a lovely girl, Zabu Zumaki, The Mighty Zeno, Death Dawning 982, Miss Eve, Old Mr. Cream Puff, Daniel Titty, Noisy, Matt Perdillo, Rogue Assassin, Anarchy Inc., Nate the Great, River Archer 124, CJ on Pluto, Wolfstar Heart, Jordan Sheldon, Alfonsi Minerni, Jake Unra, Horitoshi, and Luminous Hill. Thank you guys so much. And here's our Throne of Honor, Miss Eve and MJ Riffle are currently the only fan. Death Dawning 982 at Plus Ultra, our longest standing Plus Ultra member. Joshua Moritz, Matt Perdillo, Stephen Martin, Jerry Fast, The Forgotten, Nate the Great, Rogue Assassin, Old Mr. Cream Puff, Zach, NFG, all prestige. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys on the next one, okay? Y'all have fun.